Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness of the Monty. I've hiked up to Marlette Lake and I'm going to be fishing again for the second time. I fished last year on the, on the day before the season closed on September 29th and this year I'm a week after the season opened in July. It's like uh, July 20 something. So make no mistake about it, this lake is special regulation. Um, it's got a short season this year. It's July 15th to September 30th, and it's artificial barbless only Now last year when I came up here, I was woefully unprepared. I opened up my fly box I had like five flies or something and only like two of them were good this time. I got more flies And I'm not gonna start with the bead head. I'm gonna start with this little tiny pheasant tail That's what it said on the bin when I grabbed it <laughs> Um, I'm gonna want to give a shot at some deeper water fishing with jigs for brook trout. I caught a really nice brook trout here last year and I don't catch a lot of brook trout that size so I want to see how big they can get and see if I can't get one to bite. But I also have some of these lighter jigs, these tube jigs. And I have a lot of success with these in Alpine Lakes. Now power bait makes something that looks like this. This is not that. If you use the power bait ones, you will get sighted because it has scent infused in it. This is Sierra Slammer. I picked these up in the Eastern Sierra, and these are just straight rubber jigs. They don't have any scent. Um, this is single hook, barbless only. So you got to get out your stuff. I meant to bring a file kit that I ordered online. It's a uh, neat. I, I have a demonstration on my fishing tips playlist on how I make my hooks barbless. But I ordered these uh, a needle file kit on Amazon, and it was like eight bucks. And it's uh, it's a diamond file needle file kit, and it comes in a little plastic case, and there's like ten of them, and they're really coarse. So when I was making my small tiny hooks barbless all I had to do was clamp them in the vice grips take that really coarse needle file rub it across the barb about you know three or four times and the barb is completely gone so this front end of the lake that I'm at is really shallow it's got a lot of weeds I'm not gonna deal with that I'm just gonna work my way down this road the water gets nice and deep up here there's a lot of wind on the water so I'm just gonna take whatever the lake can give me and it's gonna be catch and release only. That's the regulation. Can't keep anything in this lake and you can't camp up here. So you gotta hike in and hike out or ride your bike in or ride your bike out or your horse or however you roll. So let's go give this a shot. So just knowledge I got from last time I was here. If you head down the road towards the dam, the water gets deep really fast and you start hitting some really nice drop-offs. This wind's gonna be blowing right in my face where I'm casting, but that's okay. So the primary pattern I'm gonna be fishing is gonna be shoreline. Because I saw a lot of fish cruising the shoreline and, and I have a situation where it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna be able to get some angles and some back casting and I'll be able to roll cast out there, but I'm gonna have to really whip it out there if I'm gonna get any distance. So I just muscled that out against the wind. I'm fishing about a eight, not eight or nine foot leader, and I'm just hoping I can pick something up. So I switched to that light jig, and this guy just swam up and nailed it. Oh, we got off. He got off. He wasn't that big, but he was okay. So with this light jig, basically, I mean, these, these trout will nail this thing. And this can be really hard to fish if there's wind because you kind of got to watch the sink of the lure rather than seeing if there's a bite or not. So what you do is you just pop it and you just watch that loose line. And they are on these jigs. I remember last time I didn't have any of these because I, I couldn't find any that didn't have scent. And I'm throwing these out now and they're just nailing them, man. 
Man, these fish fight hard in this lake. This is good stuff. Oh, he came off. I lost another one. Darn it. All right, I'm gonna land a fish eventually. That's why they use barbed, uh, barbless hooks in this lake. Looks like a rainbow. Oh, there he goes. I gotta get down to the water. I was casting up high. I was trying to spot and I spotted him. And he went for my, oh, he switched to a bead. I switched to a bead head nymph just because that that lighter nymph was just getting no uh all right that lighter nymph was getting just blown all over in the wind and i barely got this guy hooked let's get him over here let's see what we got he's a little guy but i gotta lay on something there he is and he's back in healthy swimming away and looking good and this is what I switched to, this little, like size 14, little green and brown bead head. This wind is, is quite a thing though, because I got to kind of cast in between. It's really kind of tough conditions, but I'm going to keep fishing. I got that jig, I threw it out there and I saw this fish come up and try to nail it. And then... He missed it. I, I pulled it away from him and then he swam right back in and hit it. Ah, there we go. And there we go. And let's get him in. Whoa, there he goes. Hook this guy deep. I was letting my nymph get way down in there. I barely have him. I see it right on the edge of his nose. I'm not getting any big fish though. I'm just getting these little guys. But I'll take what I can get, man. There we go, he's a little fella. Let's get him back in the water. And what I did to get that is, I'm just standing over this really deep water. I'm letting my fly sink way down there. Good sized bead head that sinks kind of fast. And they're hitting it. I mean, I'm, I'm missing some strikes, but I'm just not hooking into that big boy. Like last time I got a couple nice trout. Well, that's gonna do it for Marlet Lake. It's been windy all day, but the wind is just unbelievable right now, and I've just gotta get out of here. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit disappointed. I got, you know, I caught a couple fish, but everything was small. Uh, the best fish I probably lost right at the beginning on that jig. So maybe I'll come back in September before this season ends. It ends on September 30th. But there are some nice fish in here. I've seen them before. I really didn't see nice fish cruising like I did last time. I saw a couple just chilling right by the shore. But other than that, uh, it's a little bit of a bust for me today. So, so thank you for joining me on Wilderness with the Monty. Until next time.